Let's delve into the world of benign prostatic hyperplasia, often referred to as BPH. So, what does hyperplasia mean? It's just a fancy word for enlargement. BPH is basically when your prostate, a part of your body that's involved in urination, gets bigger than it should. This can lead to some pesky issues when you're trying to use the bathroom. You might notice that your pee stream isn't as strong as it used to be. Sometimes, even after you're done, you might get a little dribble. And it can feel like your bladder isn't fully empty. But don't worry, we're going to explore not just a simple remedy, but also understand why this happens in the first place. It's essential to grasp the mechanics behind it. Now, there's this one drink you can have daily that might help reduce the size of your prostate. But before we get into that, let's get to the root of how this issue develops. Many older men can face two common issues. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, and in some cases, prostate cancer. Let's talk about both of these concerns. First, picture your prostate, a small gland located just below your bladder. There's a little tube coming out of your bladder called the urethra, and the prostate kind of wraps around it. Normally, the prostate is small, but as you age, it can grow larger. When it gets big, it can squeeze the little tube making it harder for urine to flow through. Sometimes it can even push into the bladder, making it seem like there's less space inside for urine. Your bladder's capacity to hold urine can be affected when you have too much estrogen in your system. Now, here's the deal. Both men and women have estrogen, and it actually comes from testosterone, a hormone men usually have more of. To convert testosterone into estrogen, you need a special enzyme called aromatase. This enzyme is produced by your testicles and your fat cells. Now here comes the twist. You might have thought that the problem was having too much testosterone, but that's not the case. In reality, as men age, their testosterone levels tend to drop, while their estrogen levels increase. Surprisingly, estrogen is what we call an anabolic hormone, meaning it encourages things to grow larger. Here's another interesting tidbit. The amount of estrogen in your prostate doesn't necessarily mirror the amount of estrogen in your blood. So, measuring the estrogen in your blood won't tell you how much is in your prostate. It's a bit more complex than that. Estrogen also has a role in boosting another hormone called prolactine, which can contribute to the prostate's enlargement. Now, there's this thing called phyoestrogens, which are certain natural compounds found in plants. They can mimic estrogen, but not very effectively, just weakly. To put it into perspective, human estrogen is like a powerhouse compared to plant estrogen. In fact, plant estrogen is about 10,000 to 140,000 times milder. This is why some folks get puzzled when they hear about plants or herbs that might increase estrogen. The amount of estrogen-like effects you get from them is really, really tiny. So no need to worry about becoming estrogen dominant by enjoying plant-based foods. When it comes to consuming plant-based compounds like phytoestrogens, you can find them in things like pumpkin seeds, saw palmetto, and certain types of soy. Just remember, if you're going for soy, it's best to go organic because most soy is genetically modified. But here's the twist. The remedy I'm about to suggest for prostate issues isn't about these foods. It's about something different. What we're going to focus on is inhibiting that enzyme I talked about earlier. You remember the one that helps testosterone turn into estrogen called aromatase. Well, our goal is to naturally slow down that enzyme. If we can do that, we'll reduce the production of estrogen and hopefully help shrink the prostate. The first thing to understand is how this enzyme, which we want to control, can increase. Unfortunately, it tends to rise with age. Additionally, body fat can also make it go up. That's why losing weight is a crucial step. 
insulin plays a role too. I've discussed this before. If you're on a keto diet, you're in luck because it helps reduce this enzyme by lowering insulin. That's why even folks with diabetes or those on high-carb diets can have prostate troubles. Now, there are a couple of other culprits. Alcohol is one of them. It can increase estrogen production in your body. Whole grains, often considered healthy, can also be a problem. And be aware, hormone replacement therapy and birth control pills can boost this enzyme just like estrogen does. Now, let's get to the most crucial part of all. How to decrease that enzyme. This is the key takeaway from our discussion. First off, consider adding cruciferous vegetables to your regular diet. These include veggies like kale, broccoli, cabbage, and arugula. They have the special ability to reduce the activity of that enzyme, which helps you manage that excess estrogen. Another helpful addition is white button mushrooms. Be sure to saute them, because eating them raw won't have the same effect. As for flaxseed, don't worry, it won't increase your estrogen despite some concerns you might have heard. If you're still unsure, you can check the studies I'll link below or simply skip this remedy because it's not the most potent one. Green tea is another option, but the standout recommendation is citrus peel, especially lemon peel. It turns out there are some fascinating components in lemon peel that not only inhibit the aromatase enzyme, but also offer various benefits for your whole body, not just your prostate. Surprisingly, lemon peel contains five times more nutrition than the juice itself. Here's a simple routine you can follow at any time of the day. Take a whole lemon and toss it in the blender with a glass of water. Blend it until it's nice and creamy, which should take about 30 seconds. If you like it sweeter, add around 5 to 10 drops of liquid stevia. Alternatively, you can include half to one cup of blueberries, which also offer support for the prostate. Blend it all together and you'll have a healthy shake. You can enjoy it with or without the blueberries. The key here is the lemon peel because it's crucial for reducing aromatase, which helps decrease estrogen levels. This way, you can maintain the right balance between higher or normal testosterone and lower estrogen. Out of everything you can do, these are the most important steps to take.